This is one of the questions which I used to ponder over when I was a high school student. The SI units of both work and energy are joules. The CGS units of both work and energy is ergs. But why so? These are two different physical quantities. So why do both work and energy have the same units? We will see this in this video. And please watch this video till the end to grasp this concept completely. There are multiple ways to understand this concept. The first way is kind of intuitive concept. Just imagine some guy standing on a skateboard and you push him forward, right? So because you have applied some force and the body itself has displaced, right? So you have done some work on that particular body, on that particular guy, right? In other words, we can also say that you have given that particular guy some energy, right? These are two sides of the same coin. Either you can say that you have done some work on that body or you can say that you have transferred some energy to that body. The second way to understand this concept is using the dimensional analysis. So let's consider the kinetic energy first, right? The kinetic energy can be written as half mv squared, right? So the dimensions of mass are m. The dimensions of velocity, since the velocity is nothing but the displacement over time, so its dimensions are l by t. So the overall dimensions of kinetic energy is m l squared t raised to power minus two. Okay. Let's take the example of potential energy now. The potential energy can be written as mgh. M is the mass, g is the acceleration due to gravity and the h is the height, right? Now, the dimensions of mass are m, g is the acceleration due to gravity, acceleration is meter per second squared, so l by t squared. The height, the dimensions of height are l, so the overall dimensions of potential energy are also m l squared t raised to power minus 2. So the dimensions of both kinetic energy and potential energy are same m l squared t raised to power minus 2, right? And it is obvious because both of these are energies. And we can convert one kind of energy into another, right? Now let's consider the example of the work. Now the work can be written as force into displacement. The force can be written as mass into acceleration, right? Now the dimensions of the work become, see the dimension of the mass are m, the dimensions of acceleration we have already discussed that, l by t squared and the dimensions of displacement are l. Okay, so the overall dimensions of the work become m l squared t raised to power minus 2. which is same as the dimensions of kinetic energy and potential energy, right? So we have seen that the dimensions of all these terms, kinetic energy, potential energy and the work done are same. So this is a clear indication that the work and energy are just the two sides of the same coin and nothing else. Now I'll explain you the same concept by giving an example. So consider a kid whose mass is 10 kg and he is moving at his skateboard at a velocity of 5 meter per second. So what will be his kinetic energy? That is 125 joules. Right? Now just suppose that someone gives him another push and his velocity is increased now just suppose his velocity is increased from 5 meter per second to 8 meters per second okay now calculate his kinetic energy it will be equal to 320 joules that means by giving him a push we have given him 
an additional energy of 195 joules right so let's keep this aside for a moment and find out the work done on the body right now the work done is force into displacement and the force is equals to mass into acceleration but we don't have the value of acceleration we don't have the value of displacement so we can use the equation of motion here we know that the v square is equals to u square to plus 2as right now putting the values of initial velocity and final velocity here we get the value of a into s which is equals to 19.5 right so if you will substitute this value of a times s in the formula of work done we find the value of work done to be equal to 195 joules which is exactly the same as the energy transferred to that body interesting right so the work done is nothing but the energy transferred to that body using the similar reasoning we can also derive this relation which is on your screen so i hope this video helped you if you like the video Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe the channel and stay tuned for more awesome videos in the future as well. Thanks for watching.